Richards from Rock the Stage NYC.com. Um, we're going to do an interactive lesson here today. I'm going to sort of show you the exercise and then um, we're going to go through the exercise together where I can sing it and you sing along and we go back and forth. We'll make it interactive like we're doing an actual lesson together. Today's lesson is going to be on singing through the mysterious and I call basically a myth, the vocal break. Um, the problem that most singers have, they say, you know, they, they reach six of the F or the F sharp or sometimes the E here above middle C, right in that little phrase, is their voice pops over into like a weird heady thing or a falsetto or a weak phonation from a very strong phonation on the notes below it. The, the mythical break in the voice is really just um, a, de a decrease in surface pressure on the vocal cords. You're not breathing or compressing the vocal cords consistently with the same amount of pressure as you sing through each note. You're either adding or subtracting to that pressure consciously. You're either really, really adding a lot of pressure or you're really backing off from it as you go through that area. As that shift in resonance occurs from the throat resonance as you start to get into kind of the throat mouth resonance above the middle C here. <clears throat> if you decrease or increase surface pressure or surface compression on the vocal cords, they will either over compress and you'll, sh and you'll choke. <laughs> or you'll pop if you back away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to teach you here how to maintain consistent compression on the vocal cords as we sing through those various shifts. But we're going to start down here. I'm going to demonstrate the exercise for you from the C here below middle C to the G above middle C so we can get that nice octave and a half. Um, using the same compression, the same amount of pressure on the vocal cords, and our pressure is good, tension is bad, same amount of pressure as we sing through those two resonance shifts. We actually have a resonance shift a little bit lower, and then that second one is we shift from throat into throat mouth. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to do the exercise first for you, so you can hear how it sounds, and then we'll do the exercise again together. Here we go, starting in the C below middle C. We're going to use the exercise sound of whoa. Step up twice. 
once, I'm going to do it, and then you'll do it. So I'll demonstrate first how it sounds, and then you basically do the response. Here we go. Yeah.